Mexico finds 15,000 turtles in crates bound for China. Here's a summary of the article. Mexico City, Mexican authorities said Tuesday they have seized a shipment of 158 wooden crates bound for China containing about 15,000 fresh water turtles, some of them endangered. The Environmental Prosecutor's Office said the crates were found at a freight facility on the outskirts of Mexico City. The turtles included white-lipped mud turtles, Mexican giant musk turtles, narrow-bridged musk turtles and the common red-eared slider. The office said the turtles were not properly marked, nor did the shipment's paperwork accurately reflect the species of turtles involved. The trade in other kinds of wildlife has been implicated in the transmission of threats like the novel coronavirus to humans. This post received a score of 54,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. What I want to know is who was sending the turtles. Like, how do you even consolidate that many turtles? Do they not document which crate belongs to who? They should definitely track this back to who is sending these crates. This seems like a huge operation. Yeah everyone in the comments is rightly against China wanting to eat or use these animals for medicine etc. But nobody is really questioning the people who allow it and are profiting off of this type of business. There will always be supply if there is a demand. Both are the problem but one is the source. That's true. The same reason why there is so much drug trafficking in South America. Yes, exactly. They wouldn't be doing it if people didn't take drugs. Or if they legalized them and turned it into a legitimate business. A lot less violence around the mango business than the coca business. Yeah except, isn't there violence now in the avocado business? There is, but only because there were pre-existing cartels based on the drug business who then expanded into avocados. The avocado violence is another consequence of the drug prohibition. Greater than the avocado violence is another consequence of the drug prohibition I know this is a serious comment. But I got a chuckle because it seems like such a preposterous idea. Mostly because avocados seem so innocuous that it's nonsensical that any violence would stem from their cultivation, distribution or sale. It doesn't help that all I can see in my mind's eye is avocados engaged in gang warfare. Same with vanilla. This is not what I gave plastic straws up for. China probably traded fentanyl for those turtles. You know what was in that fentanyl? Hashtag T-U-R-T-L-E-S it's just fentanyls all the way down. Teenage fucked up ninja turtles. Heroes in a trap house, addict power. Musical note musical notes they're the world's most strung out, violent team. Musical note musical notes honestly I never thought I would ever see a reference to horse the band on Reddit. Lol horse the band D-I-D-N-T write the T-M-N-T theme song. They just did covers for some of their songs, put their spin on it. That was their last good album. I guess they gotta eat something after they banned Australian beef imports after baby Pooh Bear got upset with Australia. They really banned meat imports from Australia? If so hilarious and would love a link. Yeah they banned four major meatworks that export around $200 mil a month rough estimate. And they're refusing calls from our politicians now. It's the second thing they banned. Earlier this week they put a approximately 80% tax on barley imports. And there are a few others that might come too. Really wish the international community would back us up on this. We're just asking for a fair and impartial investigation. And this is China's response. Where there's smoke, there's fire. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.